here with Air Force Jailer Jameson. Today's big day for you. Just tell people just where you're going to sign and then how did it come about that you decided to sign with USC? Um, I'm going to sign at USC, the University of South Carolina. And I ch chose this school because, you know, I want to stay close to home and around my family. And then I, that's one of the best coaches for track and field. So that's how I decided to go there. Talk about your first introduction to South Carolina and Coach Fry. My first introduction to them was when I was like seven. I really didn't know who he was, and like my um my trainer, my past trainer, he passed away a couple of days ago. He knew, he know him, and you know they kept connections about him, and you know I just heard good things about him. So safe to say he's been still following you over the past ten years. Yes, yeah. And just. What sort of made the bond grow even stronger that eventually you decided that, or what point did you decide that you wanted to sign with in South Carolina? Um, actually, I've been having, like, since I was younger, I wanted to go there. So it's just, like, been, like, something I wanted to do, you know, something I wanted to do since I was young. What's sort of the biggest appeal to signing with South Carolina other than just the closeness to the, your home? Um, the coaches. Coaches, when I had like a Zoom meeting and I talked to them, get to know them a little bit, you know, they like doing what I like to do. Coach Fry likes to go shopping, and you know, I feel like we can have a close, we have a close bond. I guess, which events do you think you're going to be your strongest suits at USC? Um, I say probably the 400. I think I want. I mean, I'm going to. Want to do good in all my um, events, but most likely the 400. That's probably. Just what type of athlete do they see? The, is USC getting? Um, they're getting a hard worker. You know, someone, someone that's very humble and you know just wants to work hard and be the best. Last year, having the season canceled that like it did, and then this year, how much are you motivated to try to finish your career on a winning note? Um, I'm very motivated. You know, like I said, my coach Isaac passed. I mean, my coach passed away, Coach Benny Isaac, and you know, he always motivated me to you know like do my best and everything. And him not there, so it's like more so like I'm doing it to you know not to like um, to basically leave something in his name or like do it for him basically and also myself. Of course last weekend you had the coaches classic but that prevented you from playing in the all-star game in Brooklyn Casey. How disappointed were you with the dates got switched and you couldn't play? Um, I wasn't really disappointed because you know the all-star game is more for people that's you know, wanted to go to college to play basketball and wanted to, you know, get a scholarship playing basketball. So I was just like, you know, I have to pick which one I want to do and which one, you know, which one I'm going like it's going to help me most. So I just went to the coaches classic. And Outside of track, what do you hope to try to accomplish at South Carolina? What's like, what are you going to major in? Um, business. I'm going to be majoring in business, and then I also want to do like photography and so also. Okay. I guess the only other thing is just what type of lasting legacy do you think you've left at this school that other people are going to follow? Um, probably, you know, the eight-time state championship or making it to the um, nationals, and, you know, doing pretty good there. So I think that's what they're going to. Okay.